Hello guys, this is Sid Cisco and today on 14th of February on the occasion of Valentine's Day we have a writer, author, business trainer, the writer of Stuck in Love, Jaya Oban. Hi. Steam up the milk and grind the coffee. Get ready for creative coffee meet with Sid Cisco. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Oh, we cheers with coffee. Yep, nice. Absolutely. Welcome to Creative Coffee Meet. <laughs> you wrote that book, Stuck in Love. Okay. So tell me more premises about that. How did that happen to you? Okay. So I had um, enrolled into this psychotherapy course okay. and I did psychology and everything. Right. And I got on board with your dost as a uh, expert. Okay. You know, it's a suicide cell and oh, okay. I used to listen to all the kind of problems and I used to help them out on chat and everything. So I got to know a lot of problems that people have in relationships, work, studies right, right, and right. so many areas, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to put it out to the world that, you know, if relationships fail, that's not end of the world. Right. You can still launch yourself and get better at what you're doing and be a better person for your own self. Right, right. That was the idea. And that is very important, guys, because uh, when we talk about uh, love and being in relationship, I think people become too serious or uh, you know might have heard some of the cases can you just tell one thing one of the incident that uh, you know completely changed your mind so there was this guy who uh, messaged me and he said i'm sitting on the rooftop and i'm just about to finish my life i'm very depressed and i was like what happened and he said i'm in love with this girl and uh, you know she's left me and all of that and I, I was like are you serious is that the reason why you want to give up your life and then we, you know, went through talking and yeah, stuff yeah. and... Or we just wanted someone to console him. Maybe he wanted somebody to hear him out or what. I have no idea what it was. But I got to know, you know, later again he came on the chat. So I knew that, okay, there's no problem with him now. And that was the thing which I thought that, you know, I should put this out on paper. Let people read what happens, you know. So the story is about this woman. Okay, this woman. Who yeah. goes through heart breaks but she doesn't give up or you know she's not depressed because of that she launches herself in her career and you know she stands up makes the most out of it oh yes you won't hear all the more of the content regarding <laughs> to the book you can if you want to no let them go into the crossword oh, yeah, right? yeah 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 crossword is, yeah right here yeah this is where the book is available get your copy as soon as possible is it on the amazon as well it's on amazon it's on kindle amazon kindle now when we talk about writing stories or uh, you know being an author of a book I think the more important emphasis that you have to really focus on is the storytelling aspect yes, of it. Yes. If you could just write a couple of experiences on a paper, that would become like an article. True. Right? True. But you don't want to make it sound like a small article. You want to make it look like more glamorous in yeah. book. So how did that storytelling happen to you in that sense? So you I had the content from the experiences, but how do you convert that into book writing? So I am a person, I used to be extremely scared of flights. Okay, gotcha. and the idea of this book came, uh, I mean, the time I started writing this book was I was on a flight. Okay. And that's the true thing which I have written in the book. That's how I start this book. I just wrote a few lines that, you know, coming out of the airport, I feel so confident. I'm alone. I'm with my kids. And you know, this is the first time I'm traveling alone with my kids and all of that. So, I just, start, I wrote that thing and I left it there. But then, you know, I used to keep putting down something right. more, something right. more, something Every more. Something. Yeah. And I used to think about how do I frame this and weave it into a nice story. So I thought of a framework. Okay, this is how it will start. This is how it will end. These are going to be the aspects of, you know, these people. These are the characters I want to put in. So I got her to have one love heartbreak. A second love heartbreak. And then I wove it into a story which could inspire at every stage. Right. Okay. Slowly how she transitions to become more strong. Yes, a stronger woman. Yeah. And that applies to men also. So even the men who read it also told me that, okay, we could re resonate with it. If you have to tell the viewers or anybody else about the basics that are involved in book writing or storytelling, what would it be? The basics. So first thing is there needs to be an idea, some message that you want to convey. And then you weave a story outline, just an outline that, okay, you know, this is what I want my story to look like. For example, a one-liner would be like, um, so my book is about Meera. So Meera has now become independent after her divorce and is uh, fighting with life and wanting to start her journey. She starts earning and then her husband comes back to her. Whether he comes back or not, I've left it like a suspense. My book doesn't end with any yeah, ending. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
then you think of what characters you want to put yep. in who will be the characters in the book something about those characters if you can write a rough uh, you know yeah. idea about it few instances that have happened absolutely if they are very important because that will give yes. you more purpose about the character if Just you have this ram- randomly it will be difficult but if they yeah. have some back story yes yes so once you have this content you you easily know how to put it together that's it, it is just grammar like, works yeah it is just like putting up a piece of puzzle you know like yes. putting each part into a good yes. each piece into a right place yes i'm working on my second book now oh yeah which one is it's that? going to be called on time is the new late on time is the new late yeah. oh, wow <laughs> That is actually so nice yeah it's a good title actually yeah because this has worked for me in my life in my business in my growth that whatever you promise you deliver whatever time you promise you come before that you win the game under the category of self self help, self help. but again i will weave it into some fictional some story character fictions yeah. <laughs> yeah, like i was totally there at 12 o'clock yeah. <laughs> to write a book book and it could uh, really help someone yes. taking initiative is something very very important absolutely like you talk about uh, you know taking action action right all the time action packed talk is cheap action is the real thing so action plus consistency action plus consistency in my uh, in my training programs you know i always talk about uh, in entrepreneurs mindset if you guys have uh, heard this when we talk about the qualities of the successful entrepreneurs mm-hmm. one of the quality one of the quality out of the 10 it is always commitment and conviction super super commitment is useless without conviction right but to drive the conviction you need to have a firm commitment works and that commitment comes from a strong purpose or a reason like yeah. ah this is the thing for companies i was doing freelancing and you know that was quite an easy thing for me to do because i i was on board with a lot of people right uh, but when i started on my own what i realized is there is a problem in every industry and the problem is of accountability so you know when i tap into that problem and i will uh, help them develop that kind of cultures which are accountable which are more trustworthy uh people want to work with me more so yes through the time as i see accountability has become a problem these days right and so uh, you know that's how we need to cater to the people right when you talk about accountability you know people want the designations they don't want the responsibility absolutely the absolutely so i say lead by influence do not lead by just authority you know and this is what i have heard from say a simon sinek yeah, or uh, you know john maxwell all these people preach this i have tried this and it works and that's how now i also teach so the same thing you know when you talk about simon sinek i think he's a most uh, amazing fascinating idealist person that Absolute. i have ever seen if you guys don't follow simon sinek go ahead and follow him <laughs> <laughs> we are not paid for that yeah, that's fine <laughs> he's a, such a wonderful person he talked about uh, you know leadership does not needs a badge yes you know? yes he yes there's a quality that is there in yes. you you just need to like uh, style it up a little bit and see how it works so you agree with that i do i do i follow i when i followed him i would just listen to him okay this is what he's saying i don't know how it works but when i went into companies to train them and i consult also yeah, yeah. so i just don't train and leave it i do a lot of consultation for 2 oh. 3 months after that yeah so there's a lot of hand holding and his formulas work 100% so i can say that yeah when we talk about uh, the learnings i think uh, you know people should start investing a lot in learning this yeah. is something which indians lack a lot <laughs> majority True. of the people True. so tell me about your learning experience i think you went to tony robbins uh, yeah. event so how yeah. was that that was amazing for me it worked very well um i did tony robbins i did uh, i am a uh, part of roger hamilton's team so the reason why i like to do a lot of international stuff also is because i want to bring something different to india yeah. because not everybody would want to go in and you know uh, invest on a tony robbins or roger right. hamilton or i recently did a sam cawthon uh, seminar also so if we have some modules which come from the outside but they are applicable and very well used in india customized yes customized to indian market it it really works so tony robbins was amazing i i made some really good connects over there there was a lot of learning okay and personally for me it worked miraculous right it did but i think uh, majority of the people who go and attend this kinds of events you know many of them they don't benefit from this so what would you say about that see you're spending like a lakh two lakh three lakh and you're sitting there cribbing that you know this is not working for me so it's got nothing to do with tony robbins he is still going to have the next seminar full of 10000 people it's got to do with you so when people say that oh there was so much marketing they were just trying to market 
I went ahead and I wrote like 20 pages just on how they market. I came and I used that for my own brand and it's working now. You know, so it's up to you what you take from wherever you want to. You've got to be like a sponge and absorb, right? Yes, you've got to be a sponge and absorb and you've invested already and now you're thinking what you do. Think about it before you invest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now is the time to just take whatever you can and believe me, people are there to give. You just need to know what you need to take and how much you need to take and how you can take it. That's it. Right. Absolutely. So when you, for example, when you took this thing and you decided to use it in your okay, absolute serious revenues Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Right? To market myself better, to get get there, you know, on the social media, right. Right. to not be too much concerned about what people are sitting and judging me with. Right. Right. Just putting honest, good content that gives value in the market. Talk about the entrepreneur's dynamics. Yeah. This is the company with which you are associated with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you guys do? And uh, Entrepreneur dynamics is an absolutely delightful. Uh, it's a must do for every entrepreneur. At least once. At least once. So Roger Hamilton has come up with this concept where he says that, you know, Oprah Winfrey makes a lot of money and Bill Gates makes a lot of money, but they both have different games that they play. Okay. Right. So you need to know what is your personality type and what game will be, you know, helpful for you to play. So maybe you are a trainer. I am a trainer. We both run businesses, but we will have a different way of doing it. So we have to understand what is our game. That is what entrepreneur dynamics is all about. And he's now again coming in to India in July. July. The links would be into the description. You can follow her on Instagram. Yes. Okay. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> More important. More important. <laughs> yes. I'm everywhere with the name of Jaya Obhan. Jaya Obhan. That's me. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yay. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and that's pretty much it guys from this episode and uh, I hope uh, and I wish each and every one of you Happy Valentine's Day. Just wish them happy. happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sitsis for signing off. Jaya Oban signing off. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> there we go. That's how it is. <laughs>